Fletcher said no thanks to the tunnel walkout. <laughs> and he's on the mat. Can you do that? I guess you can. You can. He's demonstrated that it is possible in Kamal Bay Highlight Factory yesterday. Fisher going two on one. Fisher, uh, turn back the clocks, a 2010 world team member. 35 years old, I believe that's, that's as old as you are, Mr. Bray. That's my age, it's a fine age. Very proud to be 35 years old. And very proud to be in the company of Jake Fisher as well. Fisher looks solid throughout this tournament. Knocked off Rayvon Perkins in the semifinals. Perkins has been a staple at this weight for a while. Fisher. Been a tough Greco competitor even longer. Fisher, uh, your 10 seed representing Kirby Three Style Wrestling Club, Joe Ussolini and Jack Conroy in his corner. Conroy, the uh, head coach of Green Farms Academy. Shout out National Prep School. Bay looked for a little arm spin there. Nothing doing. Keep his feet moving. Move it. Good job. Keep his feet moving. Passivity warning against Fisher. Bay will get his chance on top, and this is a dangerous place to be underneath Kamal Bay. He is known to lift guys and not return them so gently to the mat. <laughs> not like Anthony Kassar uh, in this yeah. match earlier today. Yeah, earlier today, Anthony Kassar got in a double leg, and it just kind of set his opponent down very gently, but Kamal Bay. Tends to be a little more violent in the return, and Keep moving. Fisher Keep trying to moving. avoid getting Keep lifted all together. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. He can switch Keep sides moving. so quickly. Get him off. Get him off. Get him off. Fisher now gets in between the legs, and that's good, but Bay steps over it. Bring him up. We're going back to our feet. That's a big win for him. That's a veteran move there from Fisher. Very savvy underneath. You got a guy coming in who scored 45 points in his four matches to get here. And a lot of those came from that parterre right. lift position, right? So great tactics and even better execution there from Fisher. Fisher. Three dominant wins, a tight one with Andrew Berryessa. Berryessa on Olympic red shirt right now for Cornell. Show your dominance, Jake. Yeah, junior world finalist in the past. Yeah, Berryessa did not qualify through this tournament, placed sixth here. The three who took the other spots in the top five are Rayvon Perkins, Peyton Walsh, Corey Hope. Berryessa will likely be the favorite to come out of the last chance qualifier. It was Bay over Hope in the top half semi, and as we mentioned, Fisher over Perkins in the bottom half semi. And Ten seconds left here in this period. Looking like Bay is going to take a 1 0 lead into the second. Move him, Jake. Move him. And that's what's going to happen. These guys will head to their corners. That eye looks so gnarly. Uh, Ike Anderson and Herb House in Kamal Bay's corner, and we just got a loud dose of Baja men. That's right, that's right. <laughs> I think, you know what? I think Michael Kemmerer is coming out next. Whoever's running the aux cord must have realized we don't have much time left to get these hits in. Yeah, we gotta go. And we gotta get, we gotta get who let dogs out going right oh, now. Man. So Kamal Bay, you mentioned the cut on the eye. He was in a match with Alex Mossing, a quarterfinal match, and those guys went head to head on the edge of the mat, and both guys ended up with an eye split right above the eye, opposite eyes, but we had double head wraps by the end of that match. I love double gable wraps. Yep. Especially when you get a double, double gable wrap where they tape it and then they tape over it again. Yeah, yeah, it looks like you quad got a two, three move from 1916. Of course, the all-time classic was Anwar Godoyev in the Olympic Finals. Absolutely. Jake Fisher now trying to pummel in. Finger fight, verbal warning there against Fisher. You think Fisher's doing enough here to get a passivity call? They're going to put Kamal down. You already saw you saw the ref 
there. First time point at bay, second time point at bay. Third time they're gonna offer it right there. Now Jake Fisher gonna get his attempt at parterre. And, and I kinda, it's, it's not a rule, but I kinda like the way that they do it where they give both guys an opportunity on top and the second guy you get it. Here he gets it at 210, you know, maybe the latest you go, maybe it's like 140 left. So you still give him over 90 seconds to work to, for that. To work, right, to, to get an actual offensive point on the board. Now if Jake Fisher can get a turn here, he's gonna be in really good shape. Come all bay, you see really good adjustment with the hips there. Great head pressure from Fisher now switching off. Is he gonna go reverse lift? Just and we're 20, back to our feet. Just 20 Kamal seconds Bay on top does a Fisher. whole lot of things with that mouth guard. Yes. That thing comes in and out of his mouth all the time. During the during the action, during too. The not, action. Not, not even like when there's a break or in between periods. Like actually like right during now. the rest yeah. of the yeah. <laughs> A little over 90 seconds to work. Make it L's, Jake. Make it L's. Climb that rope. Climb that rope. Climb that rope. Bay has long been a uh, yeah, hope for the Greco community, you know, a 2017 junior pace, world champ. Fisher, yes. Yeah, decided he was a you know big time college prospect and decided to forego NCAA wrestling to pursue his Greco Roman career. And he's he's a guy that the Greco community can really build around. Dynamic personality and you know really good at promoting the sport. And he goes body lock. Fisher in decent position to defend, but Bay still locked around the body. Fisher's hand placement there saved him. Bay goes big, gets the four. Man, these guys are fired up in the stands. I thought Fisher had fought it off there. You kind of saw him move, and then Bay with that explosion right on the edge, making it 5-1. So. Fisher is going to need to come up with a four. He got two against Rayvon Perkins, so he's got him in, but they were kind of off of counters. And Bay probably not going to put himself in position to give up a big move here. Yeah, seconds definitely to doesn't need to. 30 seconds left. This is a big time guy that Bay just forward, and obviously he was a favorite here, but it's another nice win. Fisher came all the way from the 10 seed. And not looking like he's gonna win here, but did qualify for the Olympic trials, and that is no small feat. That'll do it. Kamal Bay, 5-1. He's your winner at 77 kilos. And gonna get his cowboy hat here before it's all said and done. Jake Fisher, not not one for the uh, theatrics. He didn't want to come back for the hand raise ceremony. He didn't come out through the tunnel. So I think Kamal tried to wink there. Yeah. But, uh, kind of the a permanent just, wink. Yeah, just a permanent wink. Yeah. Kamal's absolutely going to wear that. Look at him. He's going six shooter. Oh, Look I at like him. that. Kamal Bay. He's going. <laughs> Six shooters. And we got our man Tony Rotundo, so you know those are going to be some excellent photos of that. I think Chris Walker, our shooter.